What is up, Guardians? Welcome to Schwille Gaming, where you can stay up to date with Destiny content. With all the hype around Strand right now, I wanted to change things up a bit and do a video on Void. No discredit to Strand at all. Strand is awesome, and it's currently my favorite subclass, and you can find a video I did recently on a Strand build on my channel. But today, I want to talk about Void, the OG, since D1, Day 1. So let's get into it. It's actually kind of wild to see how far Void has come. Since first popping Destiny 1 into my PS4 in September 2014, all the way till now, April 2023. At the beginning of the Witch Queen last year, we got Void 3.0, which really changed the game and made Void as relevant as ever, even to this day. There are so many possibilities and Void is still really powerful if you put your build together correctly. Let's take a look at our subclass, aspects, and fragments. I've always had a lot of fun with Slova Bomb, so I'm gonna stick with that. Nova Bomb travels slowly and seeks targets. Detonations shatter into smaller seeker projectiles. It's pretty nasty and so cool to see on a PS5 in 4K quality. For grenades, I'm going to run Vortex with Controverse Hold. There's some other good choices, like if you run Scatter Grenades with Nothing Manacles, but for today we're going to stick with Vortex. For aspects, I'm using Feed the Void, which activates Devour whenever you defeat a target with Void abilities, while additional final blows restore health and make Devour last longer. We're also going to use Chaos Accelerant, which increases size and duration of our Vortex Grenade, and you can also consume your grenade to make it deadlier and more effective. For Fragments, I'm using Echo of Expulsion. Void ability final blows cause targets to explode. And generally, for any build, I like to run Fragments that feed ability en energy so I can get my abilities back faster. So in this case, I'm using Echo of Exchange. Melee final blows grant grenade energy and Echo of Provision. Damaging targets with grenades grants melee energy. I'm going to show you two weapon loadouts that will work well for this build. Really you just want to make sure you're running void weapons, but there are a few specific weapons and perk combinations that play really well into your void build. For my first loadout in the kinetic slot, I'm running a heritage shotgun, but any special weapon you like will work here. In my energy slot, I'm running the uh, pointed inquiry scout rifle. Now what makes this weapon specifically good for this build is it is a void weapon, but it also has the perk Dragonfly on it, which will create elemental explosions on precision kills. Since this is uh, a void weapon, it's going to create void explosions on those precision kills. You can acquire this weapon from Witch Queen activities, and I believe it is craftable, so if you can't get one to drop with Dragonfly, you can always collect enough red borders to unlock the crafting pattern, then craft it yourself. In my power weapon slot, I'm using the Deterministic Chaos new machine gun from Lightfall. This exotic machine gun plays into our void builds well with its perks. Heavy Metal, which weakens targets on every fourth hit, and Vexadecimal, which makes targets volatile from every fourth heavy metal hit. So essentially every sixteenth bullet if you're consistently landing shots. For my second loadout, in the kinetic slot, you'll want any of your favorite primary weapons. Most anything will work here, so I'll put on my Immortal SMG. In the energy slot, I have a likely suspect fusion rifle. This is a void fusion from the Witch Queen that is also craftable, and for a fusion, it fires pretty quick. What makes this fusion great for this build is the perk Golden Tricorn. Final blows grant bonus damage. While the buff is active, grenade and melee kills of the same damage type greatly increase damage and duration. So, get a kill with this weapon, get melee and grenade kills, and this weapon does godly amounts of damage. Moving on to heavy. Really any void weapon will do well here, but these are my picks. The commemoration machine gun from the Deep Stone Crypt raid with reconstruction and unrelenting on it. When reconstruction procs, we can get up to 150 rounds in a single magazine, while unrelenting triggers health regen on rapid kills. That's a very good choice, or you could also run something like the threaded needle uh, linear fusion with demolitionist to get your grenades back even faster. Now moving on to armor, generally you're going to want to piece together armor with stats focused on resilience to stay alive and discipline to get your grenades back fast. You could focus strength if you want to get your melee back faster, but it's not necessary as everything this build is doing should already help get our melee back. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll do a video later on how to get high stat armor. As you can see here, I have 19 on my melee stat and I still get a melee back pretty often. On your helmet, you're going to want a heavy ammo finder and harmonic siphon to make those orbs and harmonic targeting for better avoid weapon performance. For gloves, I'm running Controverse Hold, which is going to help us get our grenades back even faster. 
you want to throw something out like bolstering detonation which, which grants class ability on grenade damage and impact induction will grant grenade energy on melee damage put a couple of void reserves on your chest for extra void ammo and on your legs you'll want void weapon surge to buff void weapon damage when you pick up orbs and absolution which reduces all ability cooldowns also when you pick up orbs and lastly, on our class item, I have two bombers to reduce grenade cooldown when casting my rift, and reaper, which will help us generate orbs on weapon kills inside your rift. So to recap here, you're basically trying to cause as much void damage and explosions as possible that are going to get your abilities back quickly to keep the purple fireworks going and obliterate hordes of enemies. Don't sleep on void, guys. It is still very, very good. So that's it on today's video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.